All right, so Draymond Green has something to say about Wimby. Everybody has something to say about our boy Wimby. I want some nasty. Are we having fun yet? All right, guys, as always, before we get into the content, if you guys want to support the channel, clanthemerchfan.com or become a patron or YouTube member only $2 per month. But yeah, you can either get yourself some merch on the website or uh, just help yourself, yeah, or help your boy out. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm your boy. Uh, you help me out any way you uh, would like. Um, but you viewing this video, it's, it's good enough. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this. So this is what Draymond had to say about the whole Wimbayama uh, fiasco where every single person is hype about it. Um, so let's go ahead and listen to him. Oh crap, hold on. We want, we want the full thing. Expect since LeBron, I've saw some people say he's the best prospect ever. Of course, everyone's going to say that now, but let's not forget how big of a prospect LeBron James was. LeBron James was a phenom from 15 years old. LeBron James was the number one pick as a 15 year old. So although we like to move on fast to the next thing, I'm just not going off the rail and saying he's a better prospect than LeBron. However, he is probably definitely the best prospect since LeBron and probably the second best prospect ever. Also, we <laughs> tend to forget what type of prospect LeBron was because he did the unthinkable. What we thought of him as a prospect, he actually outlived and outdid what we thought of him as a prospect. So it's very easy now in today's day and age to say, oh, he's a better prospect than LeBron because you forget how big of a prospect LeBron was because of how much he's done. But LeBron was a huge, crazy prospect. There has been a lot of talk on is. Oh, that, that was it. Hold on, is there anything more? Um, what's this? Draymond says only 15 out of 40, 450 NBA players wouldn't be traded for Wimbayama. Oh, in the league right now? Yeah, yeah, sure. Jackson asked me how many players would not be traded for Wimby in the NBA. I'm not sure how many, but there's definitely a few. LeBron wouldn't be, Steph wouldn't be. I don't think Luka would be, Joker wouldn't be. Uh, and I think there's a few more names out there. But, so let's just say for the sake of standard roster. Wait, wait, no, 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 15's a lot. I don't know about that. 15's a lot. I don't know if that's true. I, I know he's just like throwing a number out there, so I'm not gonna like harp on this with Draymond, but that, that I don't know. Spots, 450 spots, 435, 440 would be, which is saying a lot. Jackson asked me how many players would not. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see, Wait, it's just really quick. I, I wasn't planning on doing this because I didn't know he said that. Um, but let's see, top players in the NBA. Let's see, let's do the top 50 players in the NBA um, that wouldn't be traded. So, you know, we're gonna have to get past all these. So we're at 36. Um, let's see. I think Zion would be, so we can just skip through that. Jimmy Butler, Butler would be. All right, so he said 15. Okay, Kawhi would. Sabonis would. Jalen Brown would. Donovan Mitchell would. Let's see who you just say who wouldn't LeBron wouldn't Ja at this point he would so that's we only got one so far Dame I feel like he would um I don't know uh SGA I think they would um so we only have one wooden right now wouldn't with Steph KD would I think um drill and bead be mm. He just became an MVP. Maybe not. That's tough. I, I'll go with three. Jason Tatum, I think he would. Or maybe not. Let's go with four. Luca, nope. Five, six, seven. Yeah, I think it might be seven. I don't. How many of you guys think? That's that's actually a really good question. I don't know. Probably like seven. Yeah, probably like seven. And and some of these players isn't even coming down to like their skill level, like personally like John ja Morant's a great player but all the stuff that he's gotten into I think they would trade him um so yeah I don't know Th those are my thoughts on that all right so let let's see um all right so first and foremost I wanted to address this part of it um on what Draymond was saying about uh whether or not he's like a huge prospect and people forget about uh LeBron James in 2003 and all that all that is absolutely true one thing that he said that i do disagree with like i agree with everything he said but the only thing i disagree with was the whole thing of like people want to jump to the next thing really quickly typically typically that is true 
but I don't feel like that's been the case with LeBron. Maybe that's just me, but like, I, I, I guess we done it a little bit like with Zion. It was like, oh my God, is he next LeBron or Ben Simmons? But they weren't like gigantic prospects, right? Like people were excited, but they weren't gigantic. I feel like after Jordan, they did it a lot. I mean, a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, just a ton trying to find the next like face. And I guess LeBron just been the face for so long. And we've been pretty content with like how the league has gone that they haven't really had to find the next LeBron. So, I mean, 2003 is a long time ago. I mean, we're talking two decades, man. So I, I don't know. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that assessment that uh, like, I, I don't know. I, I don't think that necessarily like we want to jump to the next thing and, and everything like that. Um, but one thing to keep in mind as well is like he said, LeBron James was being scouted since he was 15 years old. Um, and if we look here, uh, this is an article talking about how Victor Wimbayama was even scouted and it was on accident. Um, so we can see here, it says it was during the U11 game in, Bert, ooh, can't say that word, <laughs> sorry, that Wimbayama was first scouted. Coach of, oh my God, basketball club, Michael Allard, I hope I said that way, right, I'm sorry, uh, went along excuse me, to watch when the assistant coach on the bench caught his eye with this impressively long frame, he began to wonder what he must be like as a player. And then they just say that he soon found that out and he ended up being very legit. So at this point, I think this was 20 debut as he moved to the club and stayed. So it was around 2019, 2018, 2019. Um, so when Bayama, yeah, he would have been, he would have been about 16, but I don't know. I just feel like the way that he was discovered is so like different than LeBron that that's what made him like not as big as LeBron. I feel like if he would have came up like in America or whatever, I think that we would in more eyes would have been on him like in the States. Uh, I think that he would have like blew up a little bit earlier because we only got to see him see him in the past like year. I think that's when people really started talking about it, it ramped up in 2022. Um, so I think that I think LeBron just had a a uh, a bigger jump start um, than Wimby as far as like attention and eyes on him. And Wimbyama, he was a guy that was discovered like merely by accident, and he it was a long road as far as him starting to get eyes, um, you know, from the NBA. So those, those that's my, just my take on it. Um, but I, I completely agree with uh, most of what Draymond said. That was a really good take by him. Um, and sometimes I don't um, I don't agree, but that was a great take. The 15 players, I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know. Probably like seven, seven wouldn't be. Uh, other than that, I'm, I, don't, I don't know if I'll go with that. But anyways, I'll give it to you guys later. You want to support the channel, clanthemerchfan.com or become a Patreon or YouTube member. Until next time, uh, bye.